You want to focus your rabbit breeding program so you can get the best results. There's going to be four tips coming up in this video. I'm going to walk through all four so that by the end of the video, you know exactly what you need to do to get the results you want in your rabbitry. I'm Stephanie Hubert from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns, LLC. Hit the, hit the subscribe button, press the bell, that way you get notified when all of our videos are coming up and you don't miss one. So there's four tips. We're going to jump right into these tips. So the first tip is you actually have to define the goal. You have to literally know what it is you're working on. Why? Why does this matter? Think of it like getting into a car. And you get into the car and you decide to press the gas. Then you press the brake. Then you turn the steering wheel, then you roll your window down, then you honk the horn, then you maybe press the gas and the brake. And Maybe you lock your doors and you unlock them and you roll your window up and down and up and you press the gas and the gas and the gas and then you turn your car. Where are you going? You are doing things. You're doing things in your car, but what, where are you going? So we, we do a lot of things in life, but we actually need to do things that get us to where we want to go. Uh, Sam Ovens had a really great, great quote. He said, humans get satisfaction and joy from having a clearly defined goal, making steady progress towards that goal. Well, joy and satisfaction sound pretty good. There's five questions to answer to get to the how. So if you have a notebook and something to write with, something to write with or a piece of paper, now is a good time to take that out because these things need to be written down. So the first question, what are you trying to do? When you're breeding rabbits, you're breeding them for a reason. What are you trying to accomplish? The second question is, what's the problem? So you're trying to accomplish something, but there's typically problems. Like what's preventing you from getting to what you're trying to do? An example might be if you're breeding German Angora rabbits and you're struggling with the length of the rabbit. Uh, to adhere to the German Angora rabbit standard, you have to have a certain length of your rabbit, a certain body type. And so the problem might be, my rabbits are too short, as an example. The third question is, what do you need to do? So what do you need to do now that you know the problem, you've defined the problem, what do you need to do to actually address that problem? Well, the answer in this example is, I need to breed longer rabbits. The fourth is, okay, now we know what the problem is. We know what we're trying to do. We know um, what is what we need to do. What's stopping us from doing it? And this is a powerful, a powerful question. What's stopping you from doing what you need to do? And there might be all sorts of answers. And one of the most common ones is nothing. Nothing's stopping you. Or perhaps myself. Or perhaps wh whatever it is. But you write down what is stopping you from doing what you need to do to address the problem, to accomplish what you're trying to do in the first place. It all ties it. So the fifth, the fifth question is, what do you want? In a rabbit and so it's kind of like an overarching question you know you've identified this problem is this really what you want is this what you want in the rabbits you're saying this is the problem this is what I'm working towards this is what I need to do to address it well this is what's standing in my way from accomplishing it and you got to stop and you have to ask yourself is this what you really want in a rabbit those are the five questions. Let's go to the second tip. How many lines of rabbits? After you've answered these five questions, and they're not always easy, how many lines of rabbits? One. One line of rabbits. So this is focusing. There's a story about focus that involves Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. So both of those two men were at Bill Gates' parents' house and Bill Gates' dad asked a question of both of the men. These men were successful, very successful by this point. 
he had asked them, what got you to where you are right now? Write it down. They didn't get to share their answers at first. They didn't get to talk about it before they answered. They both said the same thing. Focus. Focus is what got them to where they are. I wrote a book, The Business of Bunnies, How to Start Your Own Angora Rabbitry and Fiber Arts Business from Home, and it talks a bit more in, de in detail about that in the book. But there is a massive, understated, not understood reason by most people to focus. You have to focus your line of rabbits down because let me show you the example. Imagine you have three Lego blocks or three building blocks. We only have so much time in our day, and everyone only has the same amount of time. So let's say you have three lines of rabbits. Those are your three building blocks. We're gonna put one building block right here. We're gonna put one building block right here, and one building block right here. One day, we've accomplished this, this, and this. Well, what if we only had one line of rabbit? We only have so much time. In one day, instead of focusing your effort and your energies on three separate things, you accomplish more. You get closer to your defined goal. So go ahead and just type yep in the comments if that makes sense so far. You, you can take your effort, you can take your time, you can split it up into three separate things. It's gonna take you longer to get to where you wanna go. It's gonna take you more effort because you're splitting yourself up. And if you just stop, if you just have a heart to heart with yourself, if you just focus on exactly what it is, one line of rabbits, it's gonna get you to your goal faster. It's gonna build up all your effort. Everything you do is gonna build up so much faster and get you to your goal and it's going to be so much more satisfying and it will cause you so much more joy. So how, right? Great, this sounds wonderful. We get it. We get that if you split yourself into 27 different pieces, you accomplish nothing. You got you have to remain whole, have to remain focused on one line of rabbits. How? How do we do this? Well, there's only one question we have to ask. And you have to ask yourself this question. You need to know what is your ideal what is your dream rabbit? Take everything else that you've learned about rabbits and get it out of your head. Take all the breed standards. Take everything that you've heard me say. Take everything you've heard other people say and go back to what it is that brought you to these rabbits in the first place. Where is your heart in all of this? Where is your passion in all this? Perhaps it's because you found a beautiful rabbit that had an amazing coat and you absolutely loved it and that coat is what really attracted you to rabbits and you want the best possible coat on a rabbit. Breed one line of rabbits that focuses on where your heart is. Focus on your passion because breeding takes a significant amount of time, takes a significant amount of effort, it takes a significant amount of resources and what you want is you want to be able to get to your goal. You don't want to be, you don't want to exhaust your time, you don't want to exhaust your effort, and you don't want to exhaust your resources before reaching your goal. So after you've had that heart to heart with yourself, after you've answered that one question of what it is that your dream rabbit is, your ideal rabbit is, make that. Breed for that. So what's next? Number three, you want to actually write the goal down. You wrote down the answers to the five questions. You wrote down the answer to this one question. You focused down to one line of rabbits. So write it down. My goal looks something like this. We can simplify it. One line of rabbits my Arthur line of rabbits. Because this rabbit is where my heart is. This rabbit has the wool that I want. He has the personality that I want. He has the colors that I want. He has the health that I want. He gives 
all sorts of wonderful characteristics to his babies. This line of rabbits, my Arthur line of rabbits, this is where my heart is. And this, the goal is actually a little bit longer, but this is a summary. This is what I want to work for. I want to work towards producing the best Arthur line of rabbits that I can. Healthiest, most amazing puppy-like personalities, great wool. So write it down. The, the fourth tip to focusing and breeding for the rabbits that you want for the best results is do it. You absolutely know what to do. You've answered the previous five questions. You know where the problem lies. You've had a heart to heart with yourself. You narrowed it down to one. Now do it. Start breeding, take the jump, and actually do what it is that you want to do. So you got to the end of the video. That means you were able to maintain focus, which is absolutely amazing. I want you to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you have subscribed, hit the bell, if you haven't done that already. And if you're looking for more Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry, you can always go to razzledazzlerabbitry.com.